Hello there, welcome. Today I want to show you how to find Frame.io in Adobe Premiere and it should be the same for Adobe After Effects. So if you have been using Adobe uh, Premiere with Frame.io and for some reason when you update it to 2023, Adobe Premiere 2023, you're not able to find Frame.io, don't worry, I'm going to show you. So if you normally you were able to go to Windows and then extensions and Frame.io would be one of the uh, extensions listed here. But when Adobe updated uh, the 2023 to 2023, they have changed a lot of things. And one of that is the workspace. They've included other uh, new workspaces. And one of those is the review production. I don't know if production was already there, but they've included a couple of new ones. Like the vertical one is definitely new because that did not used to be there. So that's one of the things that they've updated. And also if you look to the left, I mean on to the right side, uh, they've included these things. Okay. Here, this is the workspace. You will see the same workspaces as if you go to here and here, you will see the same thing. So now with the update, what Adobe did is they included the Frame IO extension with under the review uh, workspace. Why did they do that? Well, F Frame IO is used for reviews and uh, reviewing the projects with clients and with team, where uh, team uh, with team members and stuff like that. So that's probably why they put it under review. But if you go to, uh, if you click on review under this workspace or if you do it on this side, it doesn't really matter. But as long as you go under the review tab and on the workspace, you'll see that now Frame.io is there for you to log into. Okay, that's that's really easy. It took me forever, like it took me some time to find it. So yeah, that's, that's where uh, Adobe hid uh, Frame.io. I wish they still, <coughs> Even though that they added to that workspace, I wish they just also let it be with the other extension. Because why make it? Why take it away? I mean, come on, Adobe. Anyways, uh, anyways, I hope you found this video helpful and uh, you got uh, the solution. I I hope I was able to provide you the solution that you were looking for. And if I did, please consider subscribing to the channel and also leaving a comment saying that this video did help you and you were able to find what you were looking for. If not, then please just leave a comment uh, and I will work on making a tutorial for that issue that you're experiencing or I could just respond or I could just respond to your comment. Okay, uh, until next time, it's been me. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next video.